Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you very much for the opportunity to uh, speak with you today. Um, three things, three themes are going to run through my testimony today. The first is that planetary science has excellent opportunities for continuing the exploration of our solar system. And these opportunities have been clearly defined in the recent National Research Council's uh, Planetary Science Decadal Survey. Second, the significant reductions in the level of funding from NASA's Planetary Science Division from the previous decade have dramatically slowed the pace of new missions and future discoveries. And third, the lack of year-to-year -year stability in funding is having a serious impact on our ability to develop a long-term plan for planetary exploration. The NASA Planetary Science Program has made remarkable series of discoveries over the past several decades and is poised to continue to make major discoveries based on the plans outlined in the Decadal Survey. That report represented the consensus of the U.S. planetary science community and clearly defined a program centered around a suite of missions of differing sizes to explore the highest priority objects in our solar system. The survey emphasized balance, both the importance of a balanced suite of small, medium, and large missions, and also the importance of a balance of destinations. In the three years following the release of the Decadal Survey, the key recommendations and priorities remain essentially unchanged, and they continue to have the strong support of the planetary science community. The primary challenge that the planetary program has faced in implementing the survey's recommendations have been the significant reduction in funding that occurred almost immediately after the report was completed. In fiscal year 13, planetary funding re was reduced by over 20 percent from previous years and has remained close to that level since then. Congress has worked extremely hard to increase the budget in each of the past few, uh, two years, but the funding remains well below what is needed to implement the Decadal Survey recommendations. Equally important, the year-to-year -year uncertainties in funding have made long-term planning extremely difficult. Planetary missions require many years to implement and operate, and without stable funding, these new missions either cannot be started or their development is stretched out with the inevitable increase in mission cost. In spite of these stresses, uh, there have been some major positive advances, and in my view, the three key areas of progress and caution are the following. First, the highest priority decadal survey recommendation to begin the campaign to return samples from Mars has been initiated with the approval of the Mars 2020 rover. This first ele element will focus on collecting the samples. The follow-on missions will retrieve those samples and bring them back to Earth. In order for the sample return campaign to be successful and to remain true to the priorities laid out in the, de in the decadal survey, it is essential that this rover remain focused on collecting and caching a suite of high-quality samples. Looking to the future, NASA also needs to start now to begin developing the technologies that will allow us to bring those samples back to Earth. Europa was the second highest priority flagship recommendation in the, in the decadal survey, and this mission has received support from Congress and NASA through the uh, plans to request proposals for instruments to be carried on a future uh, mission to explore Europa. This is a major step towards exploring that planet, but it is only the beginning. The mission will require significant new funding to be implemented. In order to maintain the balance within the planetary science community, it is essential that the outer solar system remain a key part of NASA's portfolio. While the continued support for Europa from Congress is a very encouraging, the commitment to start this mission needs to be made in earnest. <clears throat> And finally, the reduction in planetary funding has led to a delay in starting the next New Frontiers and Discovery missions. The next new, di new Discovery mission is being initiated, but there are no plans to work on the next New Frontiers mission. These small and medium-sized missions are key elements of the overall strategy for a balance of mission sizes. With regard to human exploration and the robotic program at Mars, Mars Science Program can and should play a major role in the long-term goal of sending humans to Mars. Much of the information that will be required to safely land and return humans from the surface is being obtained by the robotic science program. The properties of the surface, the nature of the atmosphere, the location of water, these are all areas of intense investigation by the ongoing Mars science program. 
In summary, planetary science and exploration have virtually unlimited opportunities. These opportunities have been very thoughtfully outlined. NASA is ready to explore the amazing places of Mars and Europa, and we look forward to the opportunities to complete that exploration. Thank you very much. Thank you.